Welcome back to another episode of The Eminence in Shadow. You gotta say it in a very edgy way because it's a very edgy show that doesn't really take itself seriously because this is just like a meme isekai. We're born into this world. We're a kid now. The main thing we're doing right now is hiding our identity, right? Because he's still like doing his own... I, I don't know what he's doing. He's just being super edgy, but he's super OP, but he's hiding his powers. His sister is really strong, but obviously not as strong as him. She seems to care a lot about him, even though she kind of insulted us. The dad is a baldy. Listen, if you're bald, there's nothing you can do about it. It's fucking genetics. Like, I don't know when this hair is going to go away. That's why I dye gray every other month. So that I can live while I can fucking have the hair. When it's gone, it's fucking gone. It's a fucking coin, so I can't do anything about it. So don't take it personal when we make fun of the baldy, but goddamn. Everybody's just shitting on the baldy dad. The wife, the, the daughter. <laughs> someone, I hope that someone's nice to him, but I, I, I like the running gag a lot. And then we had a slime that turned into an elf girl. And now we've kind of just like groomed her into thinking that she has this one mission. And it's to defeat like, I forgot the exact name. There's some kind of cultist group, right? And they're just all sold in it. And if you think about it, it does make sense. Someone left the comments saying like, imagine if you were always alone, sick, cursed. Uh, I don't know. You were in this shitty situation and someone saves you. And the first thing you and they tell you is to join us for the justice and fucking defeat this evil group. And they're like... My life for ire, right? It's kind of like that. So we've gathered like seven girls. They're all so into it. They're all so fucking into it. But Sid told them a bunch of bullshit, which happens to be true. And I thought in the beginning, wait, he's just picking a random name from a book he just saw in that fucking shed. And he was like, uh, yeah, we're, we're against that evil group. And they're like, oh, okay. And I'm like, okay. So they're just gonna, this, this, they're just gonna be a constant misunderstanding of what's going on. I doubt that group actually exists. It actually fucking exists! We go into that little dungeon, right, to save our sister. And while fighting that guy, that mercenary guy, who doesn't seem actually bad. He seems like he was in that position because he had to do something for his either uh, daughter or sister. I don't know. Like, that girl independent. He confirms. They're fucking real. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> they are real. I don't think Sid realizes this. I think that he still thinks that this is all just a joke. And it's just like, I I'm just making shit up as, as we go. But the shit that he's making up just happens to be conveniently real. And at the end... They're leaving Sid. I'm like, huh? And he's like, uh, right, of course, yes, this is all planned. It's uh, it's all part of my plan, of course, yes. I'll see you whenever you return from this training boot camp or something. But I don't really know what's happening at the end. But what I do know is this anime is fucking pretty funny. It's it's pretty funny. The comedy is on point. Let's start today's episode. Where did they go? The Cult of Diablos. <laughs> A global scale organization. <laughs> and we just randomly picked the name and they're like, well, off of a book, I think. The four winds? Do you get it? <laughs> they just group. They're just operating on themselves. Like. Huh? So another misunderstanding. Another misunderstanding. Let's see where this goes. Huh? Oh. Is this Sid? Huh? Is this gonna teach us how he got the match? I'm so con- Oh, this is how he fucking eats <laughs> He hyped himself up by just smashing his head on the rock and like, Okay, let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> and he jumped in front of the tree. <laughs> this- I that's insane! That's fucking insane! Okay, so we're going to the same school. Tournament arc, tournament arc, tournament arc! Give me a tournament arc! Where he pops off! God. Twin tails, girl, okay. Are, are you the god? Okay, she's the most popular. Okay. Damn. She looks pretty cool. No, I'm not interested. The twin tails, though, goddamn. <laughs> Oh, the bouquet of roses, man. Oh, that flower for nothing! Okay, well. The most background character life love confession. But this is gonna backfire, I feel like. Okay, the sunlight. Yo, you're, you you waited for the fucking sunset. This is like strategic as... Will you go out with me? Love letter. I can't believe she actually comes out and, you know... Perimnes, Alexia. Maybe she's into this. <laughs> this is a pretty good performance, huh? This is, I wonder what she's thinking. Is she into it? Though? What if she's accidentally into this? She's like, oh. 
a weak fucking cockroach. I can use him. Because mm? it has to backfire somehow. She's gonna be like, okay, sure. Why? Why? Why though? Here she comes. Is she just. Oh shit, everybody's watching. She's sitting here? Go right ahead. <laughs> Yo, this is a. Uh, Jesus, just pushes us to the side. Yo, I. <laughs> He's shitting in his own NPC friend. <laughs> Judging by the look in her eyes, it almost feels like she wants to embarrass him. Shh. Is she just a sadist and she's just kind of setting him up? Look at her eyes, right? I feel like she has her own different plans and it's kind of evil. Sinister. Skell and Poe. <laughs> their name is Skell and Poe. Okay. Her sister, ooh, red hair. But she is like the top, top shit. And then she's like just in the shadows, even though she's the most like a popular girl here. The fuck? Is that an insult? Wait, you hate yourself, I guess? What is it? Why, though? The look in her face is so degenerate! So they have something going on. Political marriage, but she's rebelling. Takes in background character A to make him jealous. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it, okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, she admits it, though. <laughs> He's kind of shitting on her. I, I don't care about you. I, I, I wonder if she thinks like... He's desperate or something? I... I'm twisted. No, I think she's more twisted. Yeah, yeah exactly. I... I honestly don't really like her. I want her to suffer defeat. I want her to be humiliated. I'm kind of happy she's the fucking shadow of her sister. Maybe she's gonna have some fucking fast flash, some, like a sad flashback, but... Just her sinister look, the way that she looks down on people... Kind of makes me pissed off. But... That's kind of funny, the one she's like that. Huh? What is that? Um... Gold coin? Is that money? What is that? Coin flip? Why was he so shook? He was so shook. Landed on the tree side. Oh, it's just... Okay, just... Then you're right! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> or? <laughs> you're right! <laughs> That's all it took, baby. <laughs> you got more gold coins. Oh, no, no! <laughs> he whooped! Yo. We just had Denji whooping and fucking Chainsaw Man to Makima. And we have Sid whooping now. Oh my god. That look in her face, man. Alright. I'm just gonna pat us. Fido. <sighs> guys. Guys. No matter how much you simp over a girl. Never bark. Unless you're into that shit. Then go, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. If you're into that pet play. Sure. Go ahead. He's a gold digger. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Background boyfriend character, but it doesn't really. Yeah, she... the one person that she's trying to make jealous. I don't think he cares. He's so unfazed by it. He's like, oh, play, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you need to try harder, girl. <laughs> Zenon seems like a pretty good guy, a decent guy, unless we're getting faked out. So far, he's been very level headed, reasonable, mature. Yeah, why are you opposing it? Tall, handsome, strong, kind... What's there hate about him? Yeah. Unless he has a side that he's hiding, just like... Her? Damn, he ate that pretty fast. Can you judge what's in the inside? The flaws. Well, let's see where she's going with this. He's totally average, full of He's thinking of... Ah, well, that's his... He's trying to be like that, so... It's kind of... Fucked to say that, but that, it is what it is. He has no flaws. But you just said that he has no flaws. You're just skeptic. You just think that people are shitty because you yourself are shitty. 
takes one to no one kind of mindset, but what if he's actually a good person? <laughs> More money! Here we, here we go, some kind of sad backstory to make us feel empathetic towards her? Okay, let's, let's see what she... Okay, let's see how OP her sister is. What do they call you? I don't know, actually. No. The fencer or the nair? Just the like ordinary fencer? Well, little do you know that we're trying to be ordinary. <laughs> oh, if you do this, you're gonna actually make her fall for you. Look at the fucking lighting right now. It's the sunset lighting. The sister. She seems like a kind sister then. She was trying to support you. You just hate her so much because she's the shining while you couldn't. Maybe he's gonna be the one to make her realize that you shouldn't hate yourself. I'm, I'm telling you, if you keep saying that, she's gonna actually fall for you. Did you just draw a sword? Never say that again to my face. <laughs> Maybe it's not working. <laughs> Ma'am? This is a Wendy's? You're sort of way. What? When people diss the things I like. Hmm. You know... It started off pretty rough. Wait, if the conductor sees this, she's like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> but, you know... Maybe there's something brewing between these two. Give me a smile. Come on, give me a smile. Sayonara. I maybe there can be something sincere between these two as their relationship develops. When he starts saying stuff like that, you know. Or <laughs> never mind, it's over. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Sure? Look at these pussies, man. Yeah, I would have gone all the way with her shirt. Her. She's missing? Kidnapping. Obviously, he's going to be the prime suspect. Well, you should also ask the conductor, and you would have known from the witness that she fucking pulled a sword on him and then walked away into the distance. And with that, you should have already known that. I guess that could have been suspicious. But holy shit, they're just. This is looking pretty bad. Sid, figure something out. It was me, Kasa. So take me in. All right, that's another episode. Interesting that it's uh, we're getting more introduced to like a new setting. We're in school setting now. We're gone from just going on missions with our our, our, our harem of elves. We're here now, and girlfriend, not a girlfriend anymore. Kidnapped. Where did she go? Did she just like run away from home after what we said to her? I really thought that we like reached her heart when we said, "I like your style, though." Right? Because usually in that moments like that, it's kind of cliche and it's like, oh, he's going to make her fall because she wouldn't have never expected that. And it was such a rough, rocky start. And then, no, oh, she just disappears and it seems like it's the end of a fucking relationship in two weeks. But she is complex character, right? Bigger sister that overshadows her. She is so sinister, but at least she's honest about her flaws and her, I don't know, her like bad side. Compared to Zenon, who doesn't seem to have any flaws yet, right? So... Interesting new environment that we're in. We have also Skell and Poe, our NPC friends, and also the most important part, Bushido Festival. We're gonna get a tournament arc, but fuck, we're trying to be background character A. <sighs> so I guess we won't have a chance to pop off, but knowing this show, somehow he's gonna pop off. I'm, I'm, I'm begging, I'm, I'm hoping on that. Anyways, if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube. I'll go push up my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.